everybody, Billy here with Emacs. Uh, hope everyone's doing great. Uh, today we're bringing you a new product. Uh, it's a conversion kit for the very popular Baby Hawk Race 2 inch. Uh, this conversion kit will take your 2 inch Baby Hawk and convert it to 2.5. Uh, in the kit, you're going to get a set of the 2 in 1 arms uh, that allow the larger propeller size to now fit on your Baby Hawk Race. Uh, so you get a set of the arms and you also get two sets of the brand new Avon Rush propellers. Uh, these were recently designed by our uh, propeller guru, Mr. Sage Thayer. Uh, these are from the ground up designed for the 2.5 inch market. Uh, what you'll notice first off when you pull these propellers out of the package is you'll, you'll notice just how robust the propeller feels in your hand. Uh, what's happening a lot in the, the 2.5 inch world right now is uh, the propellers are being made a tad bit on the thin side and so we're noticing through our testing that you, you're bending them fairly easily right at the hub and so that was a main focal point with our 2.5 inch propeller. Um, that and of course you know performance is always uh, at, at the top of our minds when developing a propeller as well but uh, definitely durability was was at the top as well uh, so today what we're going to do is just kind of go over the basics of how this is going to convert from a two inch to a 2.5 uh, so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and take out the arms and kind of show you guys how the arms are so again these are the two-in-one arms they are basically the same arm front and back uh, so you really can't mess up the install on these. They're just going to kind of get mounted to the frame as such. Um, so there's that. And for the sake of the video, I went ahead and removed the propeller screws uh, just to kind of speed things up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and take off the stock 2-inch propellers from the Baby Hawk 2-inch. Baby Hawk Race 2-inch. Oh, and by the way, uh, at the time of this video release, these are going to be available. Uh, you can get them on our website at www.emaxusa.com. Um, so we'll move on on the install. So the first thing you'll want to do is take the motor screws off. So some guys, a little speed secret for you guys, some guys that are using these in a, a racing environment with their buddies are, are mounting the motors with only two screws. Uh, a lot of the five inch race community also does only two screws on mounting the motor. So a little speed secret if you're looking to save a little bit of weight on your micro. So one of the reasons for making the upgrade to this conversion kit uh, is the, if you're the type of pilot that uh, is looking for just a little more performance out of your, your two inch, your Baby Hawk two inch, uh, this will definitely spice things up for you. Um, it's going to give you a lot more thrust um, and it's really going to feel like you went from 3S to 4S without really having to change batteries. Um, now this particular setup with the 6000 kV motors, uh, you're going to want to stick at that 3S battery mark. Um, if you want to run 4S in the 2.5 inch conversion kit, you might want to switch to the 4500 kV. Uh, that way you get a little more flight time out of it and, and you're not going to uh, zap your battery uh, with that lower KV. So something to think about if you're a 4S guy, you definitely want to think about switching out the motors. So what you'll see is you'll see the bottom plate and the mid plate and the arm basically just slides in between those two and you're just going to line up the holes. And so what I'm going to start with is the guy that has the lock nut since we need to get needle nose through there. All right, so we got the first one through and I'll actually uh, get the holes lined up nice and perfectly. And then I'll go ahead and snug this guy up nice and tight. So some of you may have the two inch that has the two in one, or if you've replaced your arms with the two one, uh, this one I've had for quite a while. So it does have the, the four individual arms, uh, just in case you see something a little different here on this install than what you have. So again, guys, I, I mentioned this already once, but uh, you definitely want to keep this in mind when you're doing this conversion. Uh, 3S battery with the 6,000 kV motors and the 2.5 inch setup and 4,500 kV for 4S 
Uh, you definitely don't want to go higher than 4S. Um, these ESCs cannot handle it. So another reason why you might want to consider doing the 2.5 conversion, um, I myself, I try to fly my 2 inch against uh, the bigger birds. Sometimes I even try to battle the, the 5 inch quads uh, on certain tracks, um, especially like uh, a more tighter track uh, where a 5 inch quad would normally just kind of blow out on the corners. Um, I'll take out my 2 inch and try to do some, ba some battling with, uh, with them on that. Um, and so with the 2 inch, I kind of was running out of steam at about that 2 minute mark. Um, and so with, with a 2.5, it's, it's going to give me a little more acceleration out of the corners, uh, a lot more top end speed as well, which uh, should help me out in the grander scheme of things with uh, my run time, uh, uh, you know, beyond that two minute mark. Another great reason to do the 2.5 inch conversion is just because it exists. You want a little more out of your quad, you want to try something a little bit different. You know, the price that you pay for this conversion kit and, and the performance that you're going to gain, uh, it, it definitely justifies that little bit of extra money. <clears throat> it's definitely under the $20 mark. I think it's going to be right around that $15 mark. You're going to get two sets of propellers, two sets of carbon arms. Well, not two sets, sorry, but one set of carbon arms. And since this is my race quad, I'm actually going to do my lightweight setup now to it. I'm just going to use two screws to mount the motor. Now be aware if you are choosing to mount your motors with two screws, uh, that does come with inherent risks involved. Uh, if you take a whack to the motor against a hard object like a metal gate or something like that, um, you do run the risk with only two screws, uh, possibly kind of stripping out the bottom of the motor. So keep that in mind if you choose to do the lighter weight setup. Now there's nothing wrong with the Baby Hawk 2 inch. Um, you know, we recently had our Baby Hawk spec race, a fantastic event that we had. A lot of really cool pilots came to, to see what the Baby Hawk 2 inch was about. And, you know, it was a lot of fun. And, and the Baby Hawk 2 inch is, is very, very capable rig. Uh, but we did build that particular track specific for this size quad. So again, if, you, if you're looking to run your, your Baby Hawk 2 inch in a slightly larger area, or you're just looking for a little more performance out of your Baby Hawk 2 inch, this is a, you know, a great, great option for you. And again, for less than 20 bucks, you get you know, more performance. And uh, two sets of propellers, uh, that's a tough one to beat there. All right, so we have the arms installed, we have the motors installed. So the next step is we'll get the wires kind of placed uh, up against the flight controller stack here. Uh, you don't need to really like wedge it in there too crazy either. Um, I just kind of just give it a little bit of bend right towards the stack. I just kind of press them in there a little bit. And then once we have the canopy installed, <clears throat> you can then take either electrical tape or if you guys haven't seen our uh, fabric tape that we recently released, uh, you can pick that up as well at uh, our website, emacs.com, emacsusa.com. Uh, the fabric tape is great. It's basically what you see stock on the Baby Hawk 2 inch wrapped around the arms covering uh, the wires and, and keeping the wires attached to the arm. Uh, that same stuff is now available for you guys to purchase. So. Um, check that out if you guys are interested in that fabric tape. You get a lot of fabric tape for, I think it was like, uh, it's under five bucks for sure. Um, but it's a little bit better than, than electro, electrical tape in my opinion. Um, for the same distance of electrical tape um, to the fabric tape, the fabric tape's about a gram or so grammar two lighter so it's actually really really cool tape and it's it's fabric tape so it's a little bit stronger doesn't have that gloss look to it that uh, electrical tape has I kind of like it I use it on all my five inch quads as well all right so as we mentioned earlier uh, we do have the same exact tape that you could find when you first bought your baby hawk race uh, this is a fabric tape it is really really 
strong stuff. Uh, it doesn't have that, that stretch uh, to it like electrical tape has, um, but it works really, really well on the Davy Hawk race and, and on your five inch quads, as I mentioned, uh, I use this stuff. It's my, my Frank's Red Hot. I use it on everything. So four equal, kind of equal pieces. And what we're gonna do is just kind of take the backing off. And what I like to do is I start at the motor and just kind of press the wires, make sure they're all nice and flat to the arm. And once you got that, I'll get the bottom side wrapped. I kind of cut a little bit too much really only need about one wrap. So with the length that I cut here, about an inch or so, inch and a half, sorry, uh, get about two wraps on each arm. Uh, and again, you can find this fabric tape on our website. Uh, it goes for $4.99 retail. And I think you have maybe a year's worth of tape here, uh, depending on how you like to wrap your arms up. But uh, yeah, a lot of tape for $4.99. So now we'll grab our propellers. And again, these are the Avon Rush, brand new propeller for the 2.5 inch class. Uh, again, the main focal point of this propeller was, was durability. Uh, you know, we, we tend to do things with our, our micros that uh, we normally wouldn't do with our five inch quads. Um, not sure of the psychological reasons why we do that, but I am guilty of it. Uh, you know, I find little tree gaps that I don't, don't ever dare try with my larger quads. <clears throat> uh, but with my micros, I, I send it into those little gaps and hope for the best. And so with uh, the trend in the 2.5s right now, um, being on that thinner side of a propeller, these uh, we, we made a little bit on the thicker side. So they're, see if you can hear that. It's definitely a, a really thick and durable propeller. So. At the root of the propellers, where you really see the meat of it, that's where we went uh, kind of ham to really give it its durability. So there you have it. That's the 2.5 inch conversion kit. Again, available at uh, emax-usa.com. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, follow us on social media, as well as Instagram. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.